Hi, John Wright here again from uh, Logo Punch. In this quick exercise, I'd like to look at a couple of the really clever features in the ES Studio. First is the Auto Fabric Assistant. If I uh, choose to begin a new file, uh, the Auto Fabric Assistant comes up and I can choose it or turn it off. In this case, I'm going to use it. Um, the beauty of this is that we've picked pig paint it, so it's going to pre select the underlay. The most suitable underlay for the width of the column, the column, column width, uh, auto stitch density. It's going to select the most suitable underlay for the width of the column, our stitch density, and our full compensation. So let's insert an image. We'll find something simple like the scroll here. Okay, let's assume it's the correct size, so I'll just lock that into place. Select my tool, you can see the copies of that fly out, so I can check them and set them. Um, okay, let's start. Let's simply digitize this middle section of the scroll. Now, normally I'd and now continue on and do this part, the tail, or the bow part, first, but just to demonstrate the cleverness of this program. We'll start at the other end. And the software is going to work out to calculate the best place to join. So, unlike earlier versions, we no longer need to move start and finish points to make it work for the so free or true design. Yeah, so let's see where it's placed with the start and finish point. There's a start point there and the finish point there. So we check, we'll run through the design without any thread trim, which is just perfect. And we'll run down to this section. Okay. Here the picture too, you can see the width of the column that we're creating with our input A here. Now again, there's no need to run to the top of this object. I begin digitizing there and the program will automatically calculate the appropriate start and finish points. So let's just check that out again. We include the start point there without us having to have any, any input at all. Very close. You'll notice that all the pieces here have got a, a nice edge run underneath them to hold it all together. Exactly what we need in the PK knit. At this size. There we are. So if I go to the beginning of the design and then move through my machine function, it's running through without any thread trims. Um, there we go. Shift R so you can see the automatic stitches. Okay, so it's like that. Now I'll just select the scroll. And drag it out points by bar so it's, so it's got to go on to check it back and we can notice now that we've got a zigzag underlay underneath it because we've increased the size of it it's changed the density settings in this case the underlay and um, so we don't have to think about it anymore this is a fantastic time saving feature